Even though we can't see it, every star in the night sky dwarfs our sun in size and brightness, in contrast to the vast majority of the about 5,000 brighter stars, just a few of the faintest are comparable in size and brightness to the sun. Wow, isn't that something to think about? On a summer night, have you ever gazed at the sky? No clouds in the sky at all. How did you feel when you saw the enormous mass of stars? This is just a fraction of what the James Webb Space Telescope has captured of the so-called star clusters. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay notified about the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA news, and other space updates. Now, let's dive in quickly. Number 1. Messier 47 The open star cluster Messier 47, M47, can be found in the southern constellation of Puppis. The star cluster is 1,600 light-years away from Earth and is 4.2 magnitude on the visible scale. In the new general catalog, it is known as NGC 2422. The apparent sky area occupied by Messier 47 is 30 arc minutes, or around 12 light years. The apparent size of the cluster is about the same as the full moons, 78 million years old according to estimates. As seen by the naked eye, the nebula seems like a cloudy patch of the night sky. To locate Messier 47, simply look to the east and north of Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, in the constellation Canis Major, which is 12 degrees away. An orange giant in the constellation of Monoceros, the unicorn, can be seen 5 degrees south of the cluster. Number 2. NGC 371 An open cluster known as NGC 371 can be found in the small Magellanic Cloud in the constellation Tacana. It is roughly 200,000 light years away, and its other name is Hodge 53. Number 3. The Large Magellanic Cloud the elliptical globular cluster, or open cluster designated by the designation NGC 1978, can be found in the Dorado constellation. It is also known by the designation ESO 85-SC90. The large Magellanic cloud contains it inside its confines. On November 6, 1826, James Dunlop, was the one who made the discovery. The other half of NGC 1978 is younger and richer in iron than the southern half, which has relatively little iron and is located in the cluster's southeast. Number 4. Terzan 5 Terzan 5 is a stellar cluster that has an unusually diverse assortment of stars. This was discovered by an international team of astronomers after they peered through the dense dust clouds that cover the galactic bulge. Terzan 5 is probably a relic from the very early days of the Milky Way, according to the latest findings, which imply that it is, in reality, one of the primordial building components that comprise the bulge. Number 5. Stellar Explosion in Orion The most common type of stellar explosion is referred to as a supernova, which describes the spectacular death of a star. On the other hand, recent investigations of the Orion Nebula complex have shed light on explosions that occur at the other end of the stellar life cycle, which is star birth. During their investigation of the fireworks-like debris left behind by the birth of a group of massive stars, astronomers captured these dramatic images of the remnants of an explosion that occurred 500 years ago. This finding demonstrates that the process of star formation can also be a violent and explosive event. Number 6. The Turantula Territory The Large Magellanic Cloud contains a minor satellite galaxy known as NGC 2100, which contains an open cluster known as NGC 2100. The lifespan of these clusters can be calculated in the tens or hundreds of millions of years, since they eventually disperse as a result of gravitational interaction with other things. Due to the fact that it has a shape that is roughly circular, people frequently confuse it with a globular cluster. Number 7. KMHK1137 The center of the Tarantula Nebula may be seen in this view, along with the globular cluster KMHK1137. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a satellite galaxy that is part of the Milky Way system. It can be found in the southern constellation Dorado, the swordfish, and is approximately 170,000 light years away from our home galaxy. Number 8. Star Cluster RCW38 The larger region that encompasses the star cluster RCW38, which may be found approximately 5,500 light-years away in the direction of the constellation Vela, 
the sails, a nascent cloud of dust and gas still envelops the stars that make up RCW 38, making it what is known as an embedded cluster. There, infant suns and planets are subjected to a barrage of intense winds and a significant amount of light from young titanic stars. These stars are assisted in their destructive mission by enormous stars that have a limited lifespan and blow up as supernovae. This powerful bombardment can, in certain instances, cook away the matter that has the potential to someday form new planetary systems. It is believed by scientists that our very own solar system originated in a setting with such a turbulent history. Number 9. The Jewel in the Sword This photograph focuses on more compact regions of the Orion Nebula that are very fascinating. It reveals the intricate tracery that is formed at the so-called Bright Bar as a result of the intense light and powerful winds generated by the hot trapezium stars eating their way through the surrounding molecular cloud. There are also a number of extremely young red objects visible, some of which are partially buried in the cloud. These objects are waiting to be disclosed as new members of the trapezium cluster. Number 10, NGC 1850. This chart provides a map of the southern constellation Dorado, as well as a display of other stars in that region of the sky. The vast majority of these stars are visible to the unaided eye on a clear, dark night. A neighboring galaxy to the Milky Way, the Large Magellanic Cloud is home to a star cluster known as NGC 1850. It is located approximately 160,000 light years away. Number 11, NGC 6397. Located in the constellation Era is the globular cluster designated as NGC 6397, which is also known as Caldwell 86. Its distance from our planet is around 7,800 light years away, which places it as one of the two globular clusters that are closest to our home, the other one being Messier 4. The cluster is estimated to contain over 400,000 stars, all of which are visible to the unaided human eye under optimal observational conditions. There are at least 20 globular clusters in the Milky Way galaxy that have experienced a core collapse. This means that the core has shrunk to become a highly dense star aggregation, and NGC 6397 is one of these globular clusters. Number 12, open cluster Hoffner 18. Star cluster Hoffner 18 shows three distinct stages of star formation, a mature collection of stars that have already dispersed into their birth nebulae symbolizes the finished result or the immediate past of the star formation process in the picture's central region, Hafner 18. A baby star just emerging from its natal cocoon of gas is seen in the cluster's lower left corner and sheds light on the process of star formation as it occurs right now. For the final part of the image, we can see the active stellar nurseries in the right-hand corner of the image. About 50 stars can be found in Hafner 18, including a few huge ones that lived for only a short time. FM3060A is the name given to a giant star that is still encircled by a small, dense hydrogen shell. Expansion occurs at a rate of 20 kilometers per second, with a diameter of 2.5 light years. Some 40,000 years ago, it must have been constructed. In terms of distance, the cluster is somewhere between 25,000 and 30,000 light years away from our planet. Number 13, the region N214C. Nebula N214C is within the Large Magellanic Cloud, a tiny satellite of the Milky Way that is 163,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Dorado. It has a diameter of around 170 light years. Located in the H2 region, N214, this stellar nursery is a significant feature of the universe. SK7151 is a compact cluster of stars located in the center of this star-forming zone. In addition to the region's brightest and hottest star, this cluster contains at least six other massive stars, as well as hundreds of lower-mass stars. The nebula is illuminated by this group of cluster stars. This cluster is located around 50 light-years north of a remarkable compact blob of ionized plasma, which may have originated from the creation of huge stars. A dust channel that runs nearly north-south divides this four light-year-wide spherical object into two lobes. Number 14, Blue Dwarf Galaxy NGC 5253. 
Located in Centaurus, NGC-5253 is one of the closest known blue compact dwarf BCD, galaxies, with a distance of around 12 million light years. For the most part, they are characterized by extremely active star formation areas. Despite their lack of heavier elements than hydrogen and helium, which are generally the primary ingredients in the birth of stars, these galaxies have a high density of dust. These galaxies contain molecular clouds similar to the pristine clouds that created the first stars in the early universe, which were free of dust and heavier metals. Astronomers see the BCD galaxies as a good place to study the process of star formation in the early universe. Number 15, Hodge 301. Another cluster of brilliant massive stars may be observed in the Tarantula Nebula above and to the right of the center cluster. R136 is nearly 10 times as old as Hodge 301, a celestial body that has been known to astronomers for about 20 million years. To put it another way, the larger stars in Hodge 301 have already gone out as supernovae, shooting material into space at an incredible rate and generating an intricate web of filaments. Since Hodge 301 contains three red supergiants that will explode into a supernova in the next million years, we can expect more explosions in the not too distant future. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Which of these images caught your eye the most? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Make sure you don't miss any updates on NASA News, the James Webb Space Telescope, and our new videos by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you next time.